We are turning ordinary spaces into cozy fall sanctuaries. We are going to be doing several high-end DIY pieces of home decor. My video today is sponsored by Cricut. Would you believe that our first piece is going to start off as a silverware caddy? <laughs> I bet you were not expecting that. I wasn't either, but when I came across the silverware caddy at my thrift store, I knew that it had potential, and for only $6.99, I knew I had to give it a try. Now, this silverware caddy is pretty rustic, and it's missing a big chunk out of the finial that's on the top, but that's all right, we can fix it. We are gonna start by changing the color. Now, the color right now has some silver and black on it. We are going to switch it and paint it white. So I got some white gloss for sewing spray paint. I made sure that the entire perimeter was coated in the spray paint as well as the inside and also the top finial. Once the entire caddy was covered in the spray paint, I let it dry for one hour. It already looks so much better. We are gonna take it one step further and add a bit of a glaze to the top. I have this champagne metallic paint. I purchased it at Michael's. This paint is going to provide a lovely sheen and glow to our caddy. I got a sponge brush and I began to paint this champagne paint over the top of the caddy. Once the first side was painted, I got a napkin and wiped off the paint. You're left with a more muted white color, but it also enhances the detail that's on the spoons. I think they look like spoons. I don't know if you think they look like spoons, but in the center of these spoons is this really pretty detail and you couldn't see it before, but by adding this champagne paint over the top, it highlights it so much better. Once the champagne paint had been painted on all four sides and wiped off, I let it dry for an hour. We are not done yet. We're gonna add one more detail and it's going to be a ribbon. I found this white ribbon with gold stripes at Michael's. We are gonna be using this ribbon to weave in and out of the spoons to create a beautiful basket weave. I started in the center and I took the end of the ribbon and I threaded it through one of the spoons and then I just went back and forth in and out between the spoons. I did this around the entire perimeter. I really love this detail, it makes it look like an elegant basket weave. Once the ribbon had made it all the way back around, I tied it into a bow in the center. Isn't this so cute now? I love the way that this looks. You could definitely use it as a silverware caddy. You could put it on a fall tablescape or a buffet. The neutral color is fantastic. You can use it all year long and you can switch out the ribbon for different seasons. However, we are not going to use our silverware caddy for silverware. We are going to use it for a container for a beautiful flower arrangement. I picked up a whole bunch of flowers at Michael's. All the fall flowers were 50% off. I got some cream flowers, white flowers, and some tall white leaves. Even though our caddy has four different segments, we need a few more for our flower arrangement, so we're gonna create a tape grid. I got some scotch tape and I did two lines vertically and two lines horizontally to create some more spaces for our floral arrangement. And then I took my flowers, I bent the stems and I added them inside of the grids. I placed all of my flowers in various areas along with the leaves and berries. The final addition is this adorable white pumpkin pick. This cute little white pumpkin is going to be a great addition it will definitely theme this arrangement into autumn. And here's our final floral arrangement. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I love the way that we change the color on our silverware caddy, going from the darker black and silver to this white and champagne gold with this ribbon was a great choice. The flowers inside are so pretty. I love the neutral shades of white and creams and the little pumpkin pick adds that autumn detail that we need. I'm going to place my floral arrangement on top of a Marble Lazy Susan in the center of my breakfast table. I'm also going to add a few pumpkins to either side. 
With a little creativity, we were able to turn a silverware caddy into a beautiful container for a stunning fall flower arrangement. By thinking outside of the box, we were able to make a unique and beautiful arrangement that was very affordable and one of a kind. One of the easiest ways that you can add a seasonal touch to your room is with some pillows. So we are going to embellish a beautiful pillow covering today. I was at Hobby Lobby and they have a huge selection of pillow coverings there. They have a variety of different colors and sizes and very affordable prices. I picked up a linen pillow covering in an 18 by 18 size for only $3.99, which is a great deal. We are going to add a whole bunch of fall embellishments to this pillow covering. The major one that we are gonna add is a big pumpkin in the center. I'm going to create this pumpkin on my Cricut Maker. I know a lot of you have said in the past that a Cricut Maker intimidates you just a little bit, but let me show you how easy it is to use. All you need to do is take your Cricut Maker out of the box. It comes with all the cords that you need. It even comes with a few sample pieces so you can test things out first. All you need to do is remove that little foam piece away from the blade. The blade is already in the Cricut Maker. You don't even have to add it yourself. It's already there. And then I just plugged it into the wall and then took the USB cord and plugged it into my electronic device. It comes with instructions on how you can set it up. And there are plenty of tutorials that you can watch to help you become an expert on your Cricut Maker. So let's start off with a super simple project that anybody can do. I'm gonna make a pumpkin, and so what I did was I went to my Cricut Design Space, I hit New Project, then I clicked on Images, I typed pumpkin in the search bar, loads of options came up. They had a whole bunch of pumpkins to choose from. I scrolled down and I selected this pumpkin right here, then I clicked on Add to Canvas. I sized it to the size that I needed, and then I hit make it. Since I'm using a smart material, I selected without a mat and hit continue. And at this point, you wanna make sure you select mirror because this is an iron on design. Then I scroll down and hit continue. I selected my material, which is a smart iron on, and then hit more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my gold smart vinyl into the machine. Once it had measured it, I hit the start button, which began the cutting process. Once everything was 100% done cutting, I hit the flashing arrow button, which released my material. Now all I need to do is weed away the excess vinyl that's around my pumpkin. Then I heated up my Easy Press to 330 degrees and set the timer for 30 seconds. I took my pillow covering, I laid it out flat, and then I grabbed my iron-on vinyl, I placed it in the center of the pillow covering, and then I took my Easy Press and I put it over the top and hit the start button, which began the countdown. My decal was large enough that I needed to move my Easy Press around three times. You wanna make sure that every part of this vinyl has been heated up appropriately so that it fuses well to the vinyl. Once everything had been fused to the vinyl, I simply removed the protective covering. And now I have my beautiful pumpkin design on my pillow covering. Now you could just leave it like this and it would be beautiful, but we are gonna take it one step further and we are going to add some embellishments to our pillow covering. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I headed over to the scrapbook section and they had a few packages of beautiful flowers. I got a package of white flowers, they were on sale, and then I also picked up a package of some autumn peaches and mauves, and those were on clearance, so we got our flowers for a great price. I needed some leaves as well, so I headed over to the fabric section looking for some leaves. I couldn't find any, but I went down the ribbon aisle, and I found this adorable leaf ribbon. It was the right color and the right size and the right price. It was on sale just like everything else. I cut my ribbon to size and then I laid them out on my pillow covering. To adhere 
the ribbon and the leaves to our pillow covering, we are going to be using some fabric glue. So I added the fabric glue to the back of the ribbons and pressed it firmly onto my pillow covering. And then I moved on to my flowers. I added the fabric glue to the back of the flowers and then pressed them into place on the pillow covering. I mixed up the colors. So I had some peaches and mauves mixed in with the whites. I also mixed up the sizes. I had large, medium, and small ones interspersed along the bottom. Once everything was in place, I let the glue dry for several hours. Finally, I took a down feather pillow insert and added it inside of the pillow covering and then zipped it closed. Isn't this the cutest pillow covering? I absolutely love this. You could put it in the center of your bed. You could add it to a chair, a couch, anywhere you want a bit of fall to be displayed. My color scheme for fall this year is a blue and white, but my mother's is not. She has those traditional orange mauves and peaches, and so I'm going to send her this pillow covering. She loved it and added it to her couch. I told her to put it on her bed, but she said she wanted everybody to see it. <laughs> I love my mother. She's the most adorable lady ever. I'm just so lucky that she's my mom. This pillow covering goes perfectly with the color scheme that she has in her home this year. And hopefully she thinks about me when she looks at this pillow covering. This is such an easy way to create some fall decor for your home. Again, it's one of those items that you can customize to your own color scheme, to your own design, simply by switching out the flowers, choosing a different colored vinyl, or you could even get a more vibrant pillow covering. The choice is yours. I love switching out wall art for different seasons and holidays. So we are going to create some beautiful art in a shadow box. The first thing that I need is a backdrop for our art. Cricut has these huge pieces of scrapbook paper. I selected a cream one and I'm going to cut it to the size that will fit inside of my shadow box. I got a self healing mat and a rotary cutter and I simply cut the scrapbook to size. Next, we need to put in a fall design. So I headed back to my Cricut design space. I clicked on new project. I went to images. I typed in pumpkin again. There are a huge variety of pumpkins that you can choose from. I scrolled down, I checked them all out and then selected this one. And then I hit add to canvas. The size was already perfect, so I didn't even have to mess with the size. I went over and I hit make it. I selected without a mat because I'm using a smart vinyl and hit continue. Then I hit continue again. At this point, you select your material. I'm doing a smart vinyl permanent. I hit more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my smart gold vinyl into the machine. Once it was done measuring, I hit the start button, which began cutting. Once the Cricut Maker was finished cutting, I hit the flashing arrow button, which released my material. Now it's time to cut the second half of the pumpkin. I selected it, and then I chose my material, and then on the pressure, I hit more. To load my material into my Maker, I hit the flashing arrow button, and then I hit the flashing start button to begin the cutting process. Once everything was 100% done cutting, I hit that flashing arrow button, which released my material. I weeded away the excess vinyl from both of my pumpkin design pieces. Once they were finished, I got my transfer tape and I put it over the top. I pressed the transfer tape firmly to the vinyl with my scraper tool and then removed the backing. I took my decal and I put it in the center of my scrapbook paper. I used my scraper tool and pressed it firmly onto the scrapbook paper and then I removed the transfer tape. Then I took my second vinyl decal and put that in place. I did the same thing. I pressed it firmly to the scrapbook paper and then removed the transfer tape. 
now that my pumpkin is in place, we are going to embellish it similarly to the way that we did our pillow covering. A couple weeks ago, I did a hor chow dupe where I used these white dried flowers. I had a couple left over, so we are going to use those. I also purchased some pumpkin picks at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree also had some wood leaves. I got a package of those. And then I also have leftover ribbon and leftover leaves from the flower packages that we used on our pillow. I got some hot glue and I began to hot glue all of my elements in place. I put hot glue on the back and then pressed them to the scrapbook paper. Next was the dried rose. I added some hot glue to the back of that and then put it in the center of the leaves. Then I took my wooden leaves, added hot glue to the back of those and pressed them to the scrapbook paper. Then I took the leaf ribbon and added it to the stem. Then I hot glued some smaller dried flowers to the center and finally added more of those Dollar Tree wood leaves to the stem. We only need the pumpkins from our Dollar Tree picks. So all I needed to do was just pull those pumpkins right off the pick. And then at the bottom, I added more leaves and leaf ribbons. I put hot glue on the bottom of the pumpkins and placed them on either side of the dried rows. And finally, I filled in the gaps with more leaves and fall botanicals. Now everything is in place. I think it looks so pretty. I put it right back into the shadow box frame. I just placed it in there, put the backing on the back and then folded the clamps back in place. You could leave it just like this. It is perfect for a fall centerpiece. However, we're gonna take it one step further and add a corner swag to the top. I put a command hook on the top of the frame. I took a stem of these white leaves that I purchased at Michael's and I shaped it to look like an L. I wrapped some floral wire around it to keep it in this shape. Then I took some of that same ribbon that we used on our silverware caddy and I tied it into a bow. I cut a segment of the leaf ribbon. I added some hot glue to the bow and then put the leaf ribbon in the hot glue. In the center of the bow, I hot glued a large dried rose in place. I tucked in two mini Dollar Tree pumpkins into the wire and then hot glued my ribbon to the center. And then all I did was took the wire that I had wrapped around the center of my stem of leaves and I slid it through the command hook that was on the top. This will hold my corner swag in place. This added detail finishes off this shadow box frame beautifully. It ties in all of the colors that we are using throughout our home. I'm going to place this shadow box on top of my fireplace mantle in my bedroom. The blue pumpkins coordinate so well with the blue and white ginger jars and the other pumpkins and leaves I have adorning my fireplace mantle. All three of these pieces that we made today have really enhanced the fall cozy feeling that I have in my home. They were easy to do and very affordable, but they look so high end. Like I say, every week you do not need to spend a fortune to create some high end home decor. You can live beautifully on a budget. You just have to have some creativity. By taking some ordinary pieces and transforming them, you can get some unique pieces of decor that fit your own style. I hope you got some ideas or some inspiration today so that you feel like you can create some fall decor. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I can share those with you. Thank you so much for watching.